Hello, this is Matt with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at firewall integration and how you can easily add a backup cellular link to your existing infrastructure. And what makes this nice is because you do not have to change anything in your existing network. Take a multi-WAN sonic wall, Cisco ASA, Juniper system that have two, three, or more WAN connections, and you can easily add backup cellular to that. So we're going to take a look at a few of our many choices on how you can achieve a backup link and integrate into your existing infrastructure. So first off, we have one of the most common forms of uh, network integration, and that is a popular 3 and 4G router with a more traditional USB style modem. So you insert the modem into the back of the unit, which establishes your internet connectivity, and then you have your LAN connection on the back of the router. And all the router is doing is converting this signal into a IP address and handing it out to your main firewall. It is not doing any type of NAT. That's what IP pass-through is referred to and how you integrate to your firewall, which then hands the DHCP out, does your IPsec VPNs, as well as your policy management. So that's what makes these such a popular solution because you can literally drop them into your existing infrastructure with little to no effort. So we then have growing solutions that are actually becoming much more popular than the previous 3G and 4G router combos. Now one of the main reasons is reliability. You're eliminating the need for the USB modem when you go to an embedded solution. At that point, all you need is a SIM card through Verizon or AT&T, for example. You pop it into the back of the unit, and it actually has two dual-gain high-diversity antennas, so you have that enhanced cellular reception, as well as you have a more ruggedized SMA-style connector. So if you have weak reception, let's say you're putting it in your server room, you can add one of our higher gain outdoor antennas and have a more ruggedized connector. With the higher temperature thresholds, they are designed for 24 seven runtime. And some models do have built in terminal blocks, which uh, can make that nice if you wanna have some type of battery backup power. So just a quick look at how I use uh, firewall integration into my network infrastructure. I have a embedded solution, which you can see in the back here. Now this is actually using our lower profile antennas, which are nice because it slides right in and doesn't interfere with things. But that's going into the second WAN connection on my main firewall. So my main firewall hands out the DHCP, does my policy management, has all of my rules, network switching, etc. So it's just a backup link. And it literally drops in in seconds, passes that IP traffic through. You can get in via remote admin, etc., to manage your network through your main firewall. If your main uh, cable, DSL, MPLS, T1, etc., is down. If you would like more information on how you can integrate into your firewall, give 3G Store a call, 866 347 8673, and choose option two for pre sales information. Thank you.